Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, September 20th. You'll be interested to know, 154 years ago, today in 1870, the Italian troops occupied Rome, leading to the eventual incorporation of Rome into the Kingdom of Italy and limiting papal governing authority to the Vatican itself and a small district around it. This significant event marked the end of the Papal States, unifying Italy and establishing Rome as its capital, reshaping the political landscape of the region. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. It looks like we're in for some cloudy skies today, with a chance of rain showers and patchy fog, as temperatures reach around 67 accompanied by a brisk northeast wind at 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 25. Tonight, expect continued cloudiness and a low of 59 with light winds around 14 miles per hour. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Friday will be at 7.15 with a high tide just after 8.30. The near shore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 67 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect cloudy skies and a chance of rain shower Saturday with highs near 64 degrees and northeast winds. Sunday brings a slight chance of morning showers followed by partly cloudy skies. Daytime highs will remain in the mid 60s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sends you. In local news, this summer has witnessed an unprecedented spike in dolphin strandings, culminating in a significant event off Cape Cod. On September 16th, rescuers responded to free 14 trapped dolphins, finding 11 still alive. The International Fund for Animal Welfare reported this as the largest bottlenose dolphin mass stranding in the Northeast region. Rescuers prepared the surviving dolphins for release, providing identification tags and a satellite tracking device. Hira Casper, a biologist with the organization, noted a sharp increase in strandings, with 26 incidents occurring in just the last two weeks, indicating a concerning trend along the Cape Cod shore. Now on to sports. Last night on Thursday Night Football, the Patriots were overpowered by the Jets, losing 24-3 at MetLife Stadium. New England's offense struggled, managing just 139 total yards and a lone field goal from Joey Sly. Jacoby Brissett had a rough day with only 100 passing yards, while Ramondre Stevenson's fumble in the fourth quarter sealed the Pats fate. Aaron Rodgers threw for two touchdowns, connecting with Alan Lazard and Garrett Wilson, as the Jets controlled the game from start to finish. The Pats will now have 10 days off to lick their wounds and prepare to face the 49ers in Santa Ana. On Sunday night football, the Kansas City Chiefs, sitting at 2-1, head to Atlanta to face the 1-1 Falcons. After two straight nail-biting wins, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs will look to keep their unbeaten streak alive against a revitalized Falcon squad led by Kirk Cousins and rookie standout Bijan Robinson. With the Falcons coming off a thrilling victory, this matchup promises excitement. Turning to college football on Saturday, 11th-ranked USC travels to Ann Arbor to take on 18th-ranked Michigan. Both teams are undefeated in conference play, making this a crucial game for playoff positioning. USC's offense, led by quarterback Matt Moss, 
will need to overcome Michigan's stout defense. Kickoff is set for 12.30 p.m. Eastern, and fans can expect a hard-fought battle between these ranked opponents. In local sports, last night, the Red Sox were shut down by the Rays, losing 2-0 at Tropicana Field. Zach Liddell dominated, allowing just one hit over seven innings, while Brian Deo took the loss despite a solid outing, giving up two runs in over six innings. The Sox dropped to 77 and 77 on the season and will look to bounce back tonight at Fenway Park against the Minnesota Twins. Finally, Boston College faces a tough test this Saturday against undefeated Michigan State. The Eagles will look to upset the Spartans and sneak back into the rankings with kickoff set for 5 p.m. In top news, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, watercress has been named the healthiest vegetable, earning a perfect nutrient density score of 100 out of 100. This leafy green surpassed runner-up Chinese cabbage by more than eight points. Nutritionist Dana Ellis Huns, who is a senior dietitian at the UCLA Medical Center, endorses watercress as a nutrient-dense food. While it may not be a common item in American refrigerators, understanding its health benefits can encourage more people to incorporate this impressive vegetable into their meals. In business news, Truex, a new cryptocurrency exchange, has launched as the market looks to recover from the collapse of FDX in late 2022. Developed by Vishal Gupta, former head of exchange at Coinbase and ex-Coinbase engineer Patrick McCreary, Truex aims to revolutionize trading by focusing on stablecoins. We just rethought the entire thing, Gupta shared in an interview with Fortune. Truex addresses the challenge of connecting fiat currencies with digital assets, utilizing stablecoins like Tether and USD coin, enabling traders to hold value in a less volatile asset compared to traditional cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $63,700. Ethereum is just under 2400 And Solana is $142. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. Voyager 1 has been traveling away from Earth for 47 years, exploring the farthest reaches of space. However, NASA faces challenges as the probe ages, now located 15 billion miles from home. The primary issue involves a deteriorating rubber diaphragm inside its fuel tank, which has caused clogging in the thruster tubes with silicon dioxide. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory first identified this problem in 2002. Fortunately, Voyager 1 is equipped with three sets of thrusters. After switching to the second set in 2018, NASA is now utilizing the third set to continue its journey. And in entertainment news, comedian Matt Walsh goes undercover in Am I Racist? a satire appealing to right-leaning film goers. Already released, the film is The Daily Wire's first wide theatrical release, opening in 1,510 theaters. This Borat-style mockumentary critiques the diversity, equity, and inclusion movement, aiming to capture the attention of a demographic often overlooked by Hollywood. 
Walsh notes that the film industry is leaving plenty of money on the table as it neglects a substantial portion of potential viewers. An iRacist hopes to join the ranks of successful alternative films. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American basketball player and cultural icon, Michael Jordan. And he said, some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen and others make it happen. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. We'll see you Monday with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.